Hello and welcome to my series on learning Swedish. I will assume that you've at least as skilled as I am in English, which will be our bridge language if you're not a native speaking English person. I'm going to try to stick to a visual format and be very clear when I take examples if the two words or phrases I'm comparing are equivalent in regards to spelling, pronunciation or meaning. And if you truly want to learn Swedish, I implore you to practice on your own. I can't teach you the whole Swedish dictionary and all the different dialects and slang words that exist. It should also be noted that I'm not at all an educated language teacher. I'm just a random Swedish dude who wants to do this. But I'm native speaking and have a very good knowledge in the Swedish language and I'm pretty decent at teaching. So if there's something you think I need to cover that I haven't, please say so. Anyhow, let's get started. First off, I want to start with the very basic, the alphabet. The Swedish alphabet has 29 letters, although some like Q, W and Z is almost never used except in names and a very few words. There are nine vowels which are A, E, I, O, U, I, O, E, Ö and the rest are consonants. Note that Y is considered a vowel and therefore doesn't in Swedish has the same pronunciation as J in English. Pronunciation in Swedish is fairly simple since all letters are pronounced as one sound, contrary to English. It might not be obvious if you're a native English speaker, but if you try to pronounce A indefinitely you notice that you can't because you start off with an E and then continue with a J. In Swedish you would on the other hand just continue the same sound. Oh. On the other hand, all vowels have two different pronunciations, which are fairly similar. These two pronunciations are called short and long vowel, and the short vowel is usually shorter and more high pitch, while the long vowel is longer and has lower pitch. In the beginning it will probably be very hard to separate the two, but after a while it will become more natural. When it comes to the consonants, they are all more or less identical in pronunciation compared to English, although Q is pronounced as K and W is pronounced as V. I think this is enough for now, and in my next video I will go more in depth on every letter and pronunciation, and some exceptions, because there are always some of those in every language. Thank you for watching.